that's excellent. I, I thought you gave something away as well with that. <laughs> excellent, because I'll tell you why. I'm thinking, what will my legacy be, right? So why not think and plan that? What will my legacy be? But what are the anchors that's holding you back is what we're looking at now. And if your family has abandoned you or has told you things that you thought were truth and you find out that they're not, or you have a father who enjoyed drinking more than he enjoyed being at home with his family, those kind of anchors can really set you back. And I remember some years back when somebody took me out and they were buying me a really nice suit for my birthday and just spent like $650 on me, which is more than he had ever spent on me, by the way. We're no longer together, but that was a nice suit, okay? And we go over to Tim Hortons for something to drink, coffee, tea, and I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I broke up crying. And he's like, what happened? You've got this beautiful suit, we're having a good time, we're sitting here at Tim Hortons. And I said, well, you know, I said, I'm a very confident person. But can you imagine if I grew up in a home where my mom didn't spend most of her time in hospital and my father was gone three weeks at a time working on construction to make enough money to feed us and, my, and to pay for my mother's pills, medications. Can you imagine how confident I could have been had I been given that opportunity? But you know, that's not the worst that has happened in life to some people, right? But all of a sudden, I became emotional because I thought, wow, how, how things affect you from the past. So that's when you have to get very strong and persevere, take action, and ensure that you can improve your life. But there are other anchors that hold you back. Can you give, share two more because I'm running out of time here? I can come back and do another seminar on this because this, is, this book, I'll tell you, Confidence of a Champion, it's got so much meat, I just love it. Can two people share it, please? My biggest anchor is that I never completed university. So even though I'm working to correct that, it's still something that's constantly holding me back from um, objectives that I want to fulfill now. Okay. So you are working towards fulfilling that, though. And there are people, like in their 80s, going back to university. Why not? Keep their brain, those brain cells healthy, right? Keep them active. One more. I think my anchor is too much pride. Too much pride. Yes, and that prevents me from being more expressive than I should be. <laughs> oh. You're joking. <laughs> wrong, wrong relationship. The, pe the people that know you don't think that you we have too much pride. We don't agree with that. <laughs> you think you have too much pride. It's, it's like saying that I am shy. But these people do not think that I am shy. No, it's probably like saying, I am so, what's the, what's, what was it you said, you have too much pride? I've got so much pride that I, I'm not willing to take advice. It's kind of like that. I'm only kidding, but I'm not kidding. I think Susan's a lot of I know, I, that's why I reinforce it. I'm not kidding. Okay, I have a challenge for you. When you go home tonight, Look up the word humility. Oh, Look hey. up the word humility because we need to be humble. There's people that believe 20 years ago when I joined Toastmasters, I wasn't shy, but I stood there and read every word of my icebreaker speech, including my name. Hello, my name is Doreen Ellier, and I thought I should at least know who I was, right? <laughs> I could hear my knees banging, so that's shy. Okay, so look up humility. Okay, so we briefly talked about anchors. I was shocked when I read about some of the fears that people have. Some very successful people are, maybe they're afraid of spiders, or they're afraid of even plastic, you know, those plastic animals and things like that. People are totally terrified. I was recently at my campground when somebody came to visit and they're like, you know, she's married and she's shaking. She's shaking. Take those wind chimes down, those wind chimes. The wind chimes? 
So people are scared of a lot of things. Everyone has a fear of something, right? We don't know who, what causes the fear in them, but we need to be able to fight that fear with faith. If we're afraid of jumping out of a plane, then maybe when we do it the first time, we're going to have confidence. When we're afraid of speaking, once we do it the first time, and another time, and we have feedback from our friends, we start to gain confidence, right? So let's cut our anchors. I'm gonna get you another couple of minutes to write down your five top negative events in your life. You don't have to share those if you don't want to, but write down your top five negative events in your life. That's identifying your anchor. If you didn't have any negative events in your life, then I applaud you. Because I think in life, it is a roller coaster. There's ups and downs. And we learn when we're in those valleys. And then we go up to the mountaintop, and we see this beautiful scenery, and we go back down again, and we come back up again, and that's life. That's what life is about, ups and downs. Now, is there anybody here that would like to share a negative event? <coughs> One thing is actually, I work very hard and I'm very aggressive on whatever I do. But I, I saw one time, I have damaged a lot of people's life because of my hard work. I was working too much hard because of that, the management, they thought other people are not working hard. I used to work late nights, it was not a big problem. Because of me, a couple of other, my colleagues lost job. That is one of my negative events. After that, I make sure that whatever I do, even I do extra, I make sure now nobody is affected. Thank you. Thanks. That's good. Excellent. Anybody else want to share? No, it's kind of like, it's very, very personal, I know. But I, I would like you to take a moment to think about it and uh, take it home. Take your notes home and think about it. No? Fearless inventory. Um, I just have a question. Yes. When you say negative things, you're identifying your anchors. Are anchors or were my anchors past tense or present tense? Because that negative event could have helped me to become more positive and succeed in life. And therefore, they were no longer my anchors, but they used to be. Exactly. So you decide. Your voice is from the past. If it's holding you back now, or if it's a voice from the past or an anchor from the past, that you've overcome, it was a negative event in your life. But you've overcome it because now you've become positive and you've looked at it a little differently. There is a cost. And when something's holding you back, there's a cost to an anchor. So what we want to do is do what you just said. We want to change our perspective on it. We want to change our story. We want to take that negative event and we want to rewrite our past. When you're going through something very, very traumatic, you're in a forest and you can't really see clearly, right? But later on, you can look back at it and it might not have been as negative, it might not have been as traumatic. Or you may, may have learned a really good lesson that improved your life from that experience.